Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today we're going to show you in some detail how to install solar panels on the Renaissance console system. We've got a few videos on our solar panel installation as well as a bunch of other videos on EVs, um, EV tech. So make sure you like and subscribe and you get notifications of all our future videos. So as you can see I'm up on the roof installing solar panels. So I thought I'd explain a little bit about um, the Renaissance Console Plus system, why we selected it, what the advantages are. Um, some of the characteristics of the system. We'll take you through the installation process later. So this is the Renaissance Console Plus. There's a couple of elements to it. The first is this tub, um, which is what the solar panels are mounted on. And there's these brackets. So these go on the bottom of the panels. And then there's a clip system, which is where you locate the brackets onto the uh, console Plus itself. So why did we go for the Console Plus system? Well, as you can see we've got a flat roof so if you've got a typical tile roof it's quite easy to get brackets on and mount them on but our roofing system is a rubber membrane um, we can't penetrate through it easily without you know without spoiling the integrity of the roofing system so we wanted something that was non-penetrating the Renaissance console plus is non-penetrating you know the weight of the panels is spread over a large area so you've got now pressure points on the roof it's got these ridges and these ridges allow the water to drain across your roof um, because we've got a slight incline of about four degrees so the water will drain through and drain under the system without it blocking up um, it's got drainage holes in as well so if any water gets inside the, co the console itself it drains out um, so overall perfect solution for us it's also super simple to install you haven't got to design it you haven't got to cut anything down and we have flexibility so if we want to move the panels around later maybe we want to add some panels maybe we want to try out some different orientations to see um, what gets the most uh, PV generation this has total versatility and total flexibility if you can't have panels on your roof for any reason as well this system's perfect for installing um, where you've got some flat land or a garden a large garden you could install the system on your grass, on concrete, facing the sun. So the system itself is held down by filling the console with ballast. Fill it with sand, rocks, whatever you feel is most appropriate. And the nice thing is, once the solar panel is on the top, you can't actually see what's holding it down underneath. We also thought about wind protection. So unlike some bracketed systems where the, solar, the back of the solar panel is exposed, this is all blocked up so as the wind blows from this direction there's a lot more protection from the wind catching under the panel and trying to blow the panel up so again a lot safer than um, a bracket system in terms of how much ballast you need. So the Console Plus system itself when we looked across all the different possible systems we could use on our roof it's not the cheapest system in the world um, you can shop around and get much cheaper systems but in terms of the ease of installation, uh, the most versatility and the most flexibility on the system, this can't be beaten. So this is how you install solar panels onto the Renaissance console system. So you have the, the tub of the console and then you have two brackets for each panel. 
So you position your brackets over the mounting holes. Get it in the position you want. We've already checked it out on the console. Make sure it sits in the right position. Position the bracket in the right place. Then you have your bag of brackets in each corner. You'll have a nut and bolt and washer and a nut and bolt and washer. So the nut goes in the top. And then line up the bolt and washer underneath and drop it in. Just start to do it up by hand. You take two 10mm spanners. And then again, get the spanner the right way. Simple as that. Same for all four corners. So these are the brackets that mount on the bottom of the console. So you mount your solar panel on the console, sit it on the top, make sure the bracket's coming over the edges. You take the bracket, that fits on. You just follow the shape of the lip here. And then get it so the bracket sits the bracket on the panel sits over the top and the holes are roughly lined up. Take one of the self-tapping screws. Have a 10mm bit in your driver. Again, make sure you're going through the holes in the bracket and the clip underneath. Start that going through and check underneath to make sure that it's going through the holes on both sides of the clip on the outside and on the underside. I feel it with my fingers, make sure you're not going to catch your fingers with this screw. And tighten it up. It's really easy, isn't it? Though? Yep. Okay, next one. Then yeah. repeat for all four corners.
So I hope the video was useful. If it was, please give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. It really helps the channel. Don't forget if you're buying a Tesla vehicle to check out our Tesla referral code to get 1,000 free supercharger miles. Make sure you subscribe to get notifications of future videos on electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related tech. Check us out on our social media channels. And thanks very much for watching.